Okay, we're going in for a long game. 30 minute, zero increment. Gonna develop the knight. So we can take a bit of time to talk through the moves. If the opponent allows us, that is. So they're looking to push through the centre. We can just develop the knight quite steadily, as we do. It's attacking the pawn. It's also making space for potential castling. So it's all pretty straightforward, simple stuff. Okay, make space for the castling. I'm not going to rush anything. I'm not going to overextend. I'm not even going to hit the centre just yet, although I do feel like doing that. I think I'm going to hit the centre first because nothing is putting a threat towards our king. So it feels fairly stable at this moment in time. I'm going to capture straight off. So we get a pawn for free for a moment and it's also attacking a higher piece which is the knight. So I didn't put too much thought into that. I suppose it could push down but because the queen is supporting here we could take, take, and this pawn is still on the knight. So it's probably looking to come around here to attack the pawn, which is blocking the um, queen. So in essence, then we could take the pawn. Oh, they've done it. Just going through the explanation now, we can take this pawn. It's almost like it's for free because when they take it back, then we take it back. So they're not taking back. We could block the bishop in. Where does the bishop have to go? It's got this space, it's got this space. In each of those squares, it gets taken. Bishop can take, the queen's not necessarily going to take it back. So then the pawn's probably going to push, take, take, take. So I think we're going to just keep pushing with the pawn onto the bishop. We've got here fairly quickly. So he's gone there, so the queen can actually come and defend. So it's come out of its little shell. It's on a white square. We do have a white square bishop. We do have the knight, but obviously can't go there because the queen will take. Could bring the bishop here. Could get the queen out, ready to attack the queen. This knight is unprotected at the moment. Lots of arrows, sorry. Can't bring the bishop here because the queen will take. Hmm, do we let the pawn go? We're plus two at the moment. Is there anything else? Could push, but then it gets taken. Is there a defense of this pawn at all? The queen could come, but then it gets taken. I don't think there is a defense for it. This can't push because the queen has got an x-ray through. So... The only thing I'm thinking is this, but the knight takes, bring the queen through, attacking the queen, also attacking the knight. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's not be greedy, we can't defend the pawn. So we can attack, we're on the knight, so if the queen's looking to do some bobbing and weaving, like swinging to the other side. Maybe it could come here to defend the knight. Oh my gosh, it's that small. So the bishop can come here attacking the queen. Obviously then he's just going to attack us with a pawn. Yep, let's go with that. Bishop attacking the queen. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Going to take the pawn here. So he's got the pawns back. Can x-ray through with the bishop, but I think the pawn is going to attack. Whoa, it's not gone for that pawn, it's gone for this one. Um, what I was going to say is that I missed up with two. Oh, he's still got it. He's still got this pawn. He's got two pawns now. So the knight could go and defend. Queen could come and attack the queen again. Again, he can just take. So we could bring the bishop, like we said, to here. So then they'll take this. And then it's on our knight. It's also on the rook. Hmm. That's really quite clever, isn't it? Oh, 
What else do we have? Any threats on his king at all? Nope. Pushing onto the bishop? Nope. I'm trying to improve my position. Bishop definitely can't come here. Good. Can't go there. Rook can come here to defend the pawn. Queen takes the pawn. We've kind of resigned ourselves to losing the pawn anyway, haven't we? But we only wanted to lose one pawn. Now he's clawed back both pawns. Hmm. Interesting times. Bishop coming to attack the pawn here. It's a bit slow as that though, isn't it? It's a bit slow as that. So I'm just going to take the knight with the queen. Supporting the pawn for a brief moment. So the down now attacking the rook. The queen is protecting. So we can bring the rook across here. He's going to take this pawn. Let me see. I think that's the best way to go about it, isn't it? So he takes that pawn, gets the pawn back. But we're up a minor piece at the moment. Could attack the queen. Then they escape, flying all the way up to the top. Or we could just go and castle. Shall we go and castle? Knight is protecting the bishop. Okay, let's castle. And now the attack's coming. So we can attack their queen on the sly. But then he takes the knight. So if we bring the queen here, then to here. Anything else? Yeah, I think that might be it, might it? Knight's still protecting the bishop here. Their queen looks a little bit overworked, but you never can tell. Looking to escape here. So we can attack the queen. If he goes here, he gets taken. If he goes there, he gets taken. If he goes here, he gets taken. So he has to take, I think. So I'm going to just uh, do a preemptive. Okay, so we're a minor piece up. Is our position any good? This pawn is like trying to get its way up to the top. Now, maybe the knight gets into the game. Oh, excuse me, to maybe squeeze up here to here. Is there anything better? I've got an extra through to their bishop. I'm going to just go with that one. I mean, it does have a touch on the king here as well. It's attacking the bishop, so we could go for a higher piece, which is the rook. If we did go for the rook, then he takes our bishop. He's not on any other piece. So I think what's probably going to happen is we're going to go here. Then he's going to move the rook. Gives us time to move our bishop. Yep. Okay, let's attack the rook. Bishop's on this pawn as well. So if we can come here, then we can get like a... 2 on 1. I know he's protecting with the bishop at the minute. So this pawn's going to come flying down somewhere. Maybe not to that. Oh, relentless. I'm going to take the pawn. Oh, the whirlwind knight. Look at that. So if we go and take the pawn, then he comes and gets our rook off the board. Damn. Shifty, shifty, shifty. I suppose we can leave the bishop there, really. He's just going to hit us into. <clears throat> we go here. Pawn's going to push down. Where does the bishop go? Then it's then it's got the square anyway. So maybe we'll bring the rook and support this pawn. Yeah. Let's not be greedy.
attack in the rook. So if we come up, normal knee jerk reaction will be to attack. And he comes back again to attack the bishop. And we don't have any problems with that, do we? No. So let's just attack the knight. So he's come back up, so now the bishop can actually take the pawn. Does he have a fancy whirlwind? No, we're protected here. He's not going to come here because he'll get taken. Can come here. It's just nothing neat, is there? So I think we can take x ray through to the rook. So if we get the opportunity we can push the pawn and we're also hitting the bishop as well as the rook. So he's moved the rook out of the way, that's fair enough. So is there... Feels like there's something there because we could come here with the knight, couldn't we? If the pawn takes then we get the rook for free. Yeah? And if, is this one of those, what if they don't take? So we'll go here, and say it doesn't take and pushes onto the bishop, then the knight takes the rook. Let's give that a try. I suppose the bishop could have actually taken this pawn as well. But we're supporting this pawn here, because he's got a 2 on one with the knight and the rook. So he's moved the rook, so it could end up being like a draw if I keep bouncing backwards and forwards with the knight. But I'm going to have to move the knight. Hmm. Bishop takes the pawn, I'm on the rook. Bishop takes, rook takes. I think that works, doesn't it? Going to take, I think that works. We've got a two on one here, but he's still got two on one on our pawn, so probably leave that alone. Swing the knight across, then the rook comes here. We've got support with this pawn, do we lose out somehow? This pawn can be taken at that point. It's hitting the rook, so he's, um, we could take the pawn with the rook. I don't think, I think his rook's going to come here and attack the bishop. Suppose then we can bring the bishop here. Yeah. Oh, I think we can do this. Um, whirlwind knight. Okay, let's take. Is there? Yeah. Ooh, oh, 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 steady on. It's a back ranker coming in, isn't there? If we go here and say he does take, we do have the knight that can take. Because if we took with the pawn, obviously. Let's go. The back ranker would kick in. It doesn't have to take, it could just keep going backwards and forwards like that. So do we bring the knight around? Attack the knight and the rook. Yeah, he's doing that. So if we bring the knight around. 
He wants his knight to be attacked by bishop. Bring the knight up, attack it in the rook. So it comes down, takes the pawn, and then moves his rook first. Bishop attacks the knight. This is already one on there. Or do we push the pawn up? I'm going to go with this one, it seems a little bit more flexible because once that's stuck there, I don't think we've got much weight. Oh, maybe the bishop. Yeah, that looked too long. Yes, he's moved the knight, so he's going to be hitting here. Uh, I'm going to hit the rook, like we said. It's got that position as well with a check on the king, but there's nothing else after that. He's looking for that back ranker. If we block with the check on the king, then we can push because the bishop's supporting the knight. Let's go with the check on the king. What's this guy got? This knight's going to come here, isn't he? Attacking the ball. If we push now onto the rook, comes back to block. Can we x-ray with the bishop? No, we can't because the knight's there. So now we could jump back here, attacking the rook again, but this time, no, it's not a white square, is it? Could prevent any back rankers, just push a pawn up. Could attack the knight. I don't really want to make the knight active somehow, wherever he's going to go. Right, let's tidy this up a bit now. If we go here, oops, sorry, arrow, if we go here. If he takes, our rook can take. If his rook takes. Pawn can take, knight can take, so I think this is the move. He does, ooh, I thought back ranker. His rook's coming down for this pawn, so it's got enough time to give our king some space. So we'll take. Yep. So if we got. Oh, give the thing some space first, dude. <laughs> so, just gonna go here because the king can't go here because the knight's blocking that way. And he's hitting us. Well, it's actually put, sending us to the right area. But, yeah, that's fine because his knight's gonna come here, put a check on. We just move up with the king. So he's getting a check. We're getting a checkmate if he doesn't move one of these pawns. Oh, he's moved that one. We do have a white square bishop, which can pin through to the king. Okay, let's hit it anyway. Then hit it again. 
Then it comes down for the night. Maybe the night does something. Night can come here. Comes down for the night though. Maybe we'll bring the bishop here first. Then the knight can't move. Yep. Then the king comes there defending. And then the knight can jump up maybe and put a check on. Let's just bring the bishop here. Get it active. King comes here. Knight can go here with a check but he's escaping. It's not wearing them apples is he? Okay. Take the knight. Attack the king. Put a check on. Give them something to think about. Moves closer to the knight. Bring the knight down, attacking the pawn. Just get a check on the king. Get another check on the king. Get another check on the king. Just keep the checks going. It's obviously coming here. Just another check. Looks like he's getting away. He's gonna hide in this corner here. Hope I'm not checkmating myself, you know. Another check. Get his rook off the board. Looking for a stalemate. He can go here. Oh, ho, ho, that would be stalemate, wouldn't it? <laughs> Very clever. Yeah, we go here, he can't go there and he can't come here. Right. So they want to play clever. He can go here, so we'll just go for this pawn. In fact, no, to be annoying, let's go for this pawn. It's got space to move, so it's got all this area around here to move. And let's just put a check on. And let's go. There's no stalemate, we can move. Do 